This video will go over the steps that you need to take to create a generic Zoom room for students so that they will be able to interact without the limitations of a basic Zoom account, namely the limitation of 40 minute meetings. Okay, so I'm logged into my Zoom account here. And I'm going to want to check on a couple of my settings before I begin this process. So I'm going to scroll over here to the left hand side and click on settings. And then I'm going to scroll down so that I'm in the meetings area and in the in meeting basic area I want to scroll down and check on um, who can share. And that's the first place I want to look at so if you want other people other than the host to share you want to make sure that you click on all participants here so that it sort of looks like this so under screen sharing who can share you want it to be all participants and when you click on all participants you'll see this who can start sharing when someone else is sharing host only and then click on save there now once you've done that, what you can do is you can scroll back up and go into your meetings. And what we're going to do is we're going to schedule a meeting. And I'm just going to call this generic student meeting room. And it doesn't matter what time I started or anything like that, but what I want to do is I'm going to create it as a reoccurring meeting. And then I'm going to, for the reoccurrence, select no fixed time. I want to make sure that my meeting ID generates automatically so I'm not using my personal meeting room and I want to use a passcode with no waiting room. So what that allows is it allows students to just enter in whatever the meeting ID comes and the passcode so that they can go into the meeting. So once I've done that I'm going to scroll down. The other thing you want to make sure that you do is make sure that your meeting options enables them to join before the host. And then I'm assuming that students will not want this recorded, so turn off the automatic recording if it happens to be turned on by default. Now if you click save, what you'll get is you will get a generic meeting. Here is the invite link. Here's the meeting ID and here's the passcode. So what this will allow is essentially it's now created a meeting space that anyone can log into so any student could log into it and it doesn't require the host to be there but it won't time out the same way other basic accounts will time out. So this will be available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week until I delete this particular meeting room. So it allows students to have the same functionality that they would have if they had their own pro account except for they don't have host capabilities. So what that means is they can't mute everybody. They can't turn off people's videos or turn off people's microphones. They can do their own so they can turn on their own video and turn on their own microphone but they can't turn off or turn on someone else's. It also means that they can't initiate a recording they can only participate in the meeting. So if they need a recording of the event, they'd have to do it locally with a screen capture program. But this is a way of getting around some of the limitations that a basic Zoom account holds. So that was a quick video that outlined the steps that you would need to take in Zoom to be able to create a generic room for your students to be able to Zoom with each other that doesn't meet the limitations or that's not limited by the restrictions to a basic Zoom account, namely the 40-minute restriction.